Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Locker. In today's video I have another mystery box for you guys. This one is a little bit smaller than I usually get. This one is going to be 24 polishes and I got it for $78 on the Nearly No Rules Nail Polish Group. So I think this one was going to be at least one Bees Knees Lacquer if not more and then I want to say the other brands that she had mentioned piqued my interest. So I'm curious to see what we're going to get. It is packed very differently than I'm used to but let's go ahead and see what we Cut. Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, so there should be 24 polishes in here. We're just going to leave them in the bag to kind of maintain the mystery as we go. And I'll be setting them to the side in our piles of keeps or not keeps. Let's dig in. First up, we're looking at a lemming lacquer. This one is called Ghoul. And this one is a flaky balm with some shimmer in a very dark blue base. Now, I believe this is one that I do already have. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this one might have come out in polish pickup. I could be wrong on that. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I do have this. So we're gonna put this aside to double check. Just make sure that I'm not mistaken <laughs> if I own it or not. But that first one was Lemming Lacquer's Ghoul. Next up, we have an Enchanted. Yay! So this was one of the brands that she had mentioned that I was really excited to see. So this is Enchanted's Trinket. Now this is one that I don't have yet, so I'm definitely adding this to my collection. If you didn't see it, I did already do a little My Collection of Enchanted Polishes, and I don't have as many of from this brand as I wish I did, but I do really like my Enchanteds. Very excited to be able to add another one to my collection. This is a really beautiful micro glitter in a very dark green base. I'm actually not too sure if it is a dark green or a teal in that base. Very, very pretty though, and jam-packed full of holographic glitter. That is beautiful. So that was Enchanted Polish Trinket coming in the collection. All right, next up, ooh, we've got one from Fancy Gloss. And this one is called Conjuration, and this looks like one of her shimmer toppers. This one has beautiful warm shifts to it. I'm seeing red, green, and gold. This one I definitely need to check on. I do have a number of toppers from Fancy Gloss, but I don't remember offhand if I have Conjuration. So this one is going to go in the to be checked pile to make sure if I have it or not. And same rules apply when I'm unboxing my mystery boxes. If I don't have this, it's going to go in my collection to at least swatch and compare to other polishes in my collection. And if I do already have it, it'll go in the D-Stash. So that one was Fancy Gloss's Conjuration. All right, next up, ooh, we have another one from Enchanted. This one is called Salem. Pretty sure I don't have this one. This is another beautiful micro glitter that is absolutely jam-packed with hollow. This one seems to be a black jelly base full of those micro glitters in hollow. Now, I definitely have been clearing out a lot of my black polishes, but I am keeping ones that speak to me, and this one definitely seems like one that I would like to at least swatch and see, so we will be adding this one to my collection. That was Enchanted Polish Salem. Next up, we have another Lemming Lacquer. This one is called Ghosts of the Vault. This one came out in Polish Pickup for July 2020, and I want to say I definitely have this one. This one definitely sounds familiar, but I don't remember it as coming out in 2020. I want to say that this one originally maybe came out in 2018. I could be mistaken on that one, but uh, in any case, I do think I might have this again. We'll double check just to make sure, but this one is a really beautiful, deep, juicy, almost royal purple. You have a load of these beautiful flakies in it, and then you have that, what I would almost describe as like a red to green to gold shifting shimmer in there, but against this base, it's making that red look more of like a, a rich orange. That is a beautiful polish. So another one I need to check and see if I have it. That was Lemming Lacquer's Ghosts of the Vault. Pretty sure I have it though. All right, next up we have, oh, who is this? I actually can't read that. Maybe do nail polish or drop or something. It's, it's kind of wiped off there, so I can't really tell, but the name of it is Beach Blue. Let's see if the back says a brand. Oh, just the ingredients list as far as I can tell. So if you know what this one might be, definitely let me know. But this is an interesting shade of a gray full of purple. I definitely like this combination. I 
don't know that I actually have one in my collection like this. I'm very curious to see how prominent that purple flash will be on the nail, but look how pretty that is in the bottle. So we'll definitely add it to my collection to at least swatch and see. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is a new to me brand, even though I can't read the label, I don't recognize it. So we'll add that to my collection to at least swatch and see. That was Beach Blue. Next one, oh, we've got another one from Fancy Gloss. This one is called Aqua Goddess, and this is another shimmer polish, but I think due to the opacity of this one, I want to say this is meant to be worn on its own. This one is a really beautiful shimmer. You've got this gorgeous aqua green that is completely freaking my camera out <laughs> that shifts to pink. Yeah, pink and like a blue or purple towards the edges. This one I'm fairly certain I don't have, so we're going to add this one to the collection to at least swatch and see how I like it. White polishes like this I tend to really love in the bottle, but sometimes I don't love them on my skin tone, so we'll have to see how I like this. I do like that the prominent shift to this is that beautiful aqua green, so I think I might like it. That was Fancy Gloss's Aqua Goddess. Next up... We have another Enchanted. Wow! I was not expecting to get nearly this many Enchanteds. I'm very impressed. So this one is Enchanted Polish Jazzagal. This is another one that I know I don't have. Look at this gorgeous, juicy shade. Again, absolutely loaded full of hollow micro glitter. This is gorgeous. Yeah, another one I definitely don't have, and as I said, I have been collecting Enchanted Nail Polishes, especially since they are sadly no longer made. So this one is Enchanted Polishes Jazzagal going in the collection. All right, next one. Ooh, we've got one from Live Love Polish. This one seems to be missing its little hat, but that's all right. This one is called Foxfire. This one is one of their flaky iridescent toppers, and look at the shifts in this one. You've got green and purple, fuchsia, maybe a little bit of orange and gold. I will definitely have to double check and see if I own this one or not. These kind of flaky toppers are definitely one of my first loves. I adore the way that they look over a lot of different polishes, so I'll have to see if I have it or not. This will go in the to be checked pile that was Live Love Polish Foxfire. Next up, ooh, we have another Enchanted. Wow, this one is called Simply the Best, and wow, look at this. So this has a different formula than the others. This one is more of a linear holographic with a little bit of a larger particle shimmer in there. This is a beautiful deep green, and another one that I'm fairly certain I don't have either, so this is definitely going in my collection. Look at the hollow. Wow. So another Enchanted, yay! This one was simply the best, going in the collection. All right, next one. Ooh, we have another one from Live Love Polish. This one is called LBD, probably Little Black Dress. Now this one does look like a basic black cream, except, I don't know if you can see that subtle little bit of sparkle through there. I don't know if that's intended, or if that's maybe like something that came off into the polish. But I don't think this is one that I have, so we will hold on to it and at least swatch and compare it to some of my other black polishes. Black polishes, as well as basic white polishes, are also very useful in nail polish art, but at this point I have kept quite a few of them. <laughs> so I need to do some comparisons, keep the ones that I like the formulas of the best, and whittle that down eventually. But for the time being, we'll add this to the collection. That was Live Love Polishes LBD. Next one. Ooh, we have another Live Love Polish. This one is called Focus, and this is a beautiful hollow. Wow, look at that. So the hollow on this is beautifully linear. I want to say this is a deep black base. Yeah, this one looks to be a black hollow, or maybe, yeah, I was going to say maybe a deep charcoal, but I think it is a, a black jelly base full of that holographic pigment. Now, this one does have sort of a bronzy flash on the face of the bottle, so I want to say there's a secondary shimmer in here. This one's not necessarily speaking to me, so I think I will go ahead and add this one to the D stash. That was Live Love Polish Focus. All right, next one. Ooh, okay, here we go. We've got another polish from that brand that I couldn't quite read. Maybe it's Dew, D-E-W, but this one is called Charcoal. 
which is kind of interesting because this looks more like an oxblood or a deep, deep burgundy. This is a gorgeous shade, perfect for fall. This is actually one of my preferred shades of red. I love it. So I'm excited to try this formula. And it's again, another one that I know I don't have. So I think we're going with Dew Polish Charcoal and it's going in the collection. All right, next up, Ooh, we've got a purple polish. This one's another from Fancy Gloss called Purple Confetti, and it's a thermal. So I wonder if the thermal properties still work. Thermals do have a shelf life. Now they can last for many, many years. A lot of people have said that they have polishes that still transition after a long, long time, but the pigments can die. There's a lot of factors that go into how long it lasts, but even in just this color, this is absolutely beautiful. It's sort of this cool tone purple loaded with flakies and I will have to double check again on if I have this one or not. This seems like a kind of polish that I would have grabbed from Fancy Gloss but I don't remember if I have it. So we're going to add it to the check and see pile. That was Fancy Gloss's purple confetti. All right next up Ooh, we have one from KB Shimmer. This one is called Dragon On and On. Ooh, okay so I love KB Shimmer as well and the name is adorable and it also doesn't sound familiar so I wonder when that came out. Um, so this one is one that I pr I am pretty sure I don't have and look at this beautiful multi-chrome. This one sort of reminds me of Island P's like uh, Buyer Fringence or oh what is the other one? There's another one, Cygnus Loop, I think, that has this sort of a deep blue with these fiery shifts. I'll have to come back and do some comparisons of those to this one eventually, but like I said, I don't think I have this one, so we're going to add this one to the collection. This is beautiful. You have this very rich dark blue on the face, but I'm seeing loads of shifts to like red, orange, and gold at the edge very pretty look at you even have pink pop up that's gorgeous so we're adding this one to the collection that was kb shimmers dragon on and on next one we've got another from do and there we go this is the first one where i can actually read it quite nicely this one definitely says d e w nail polish and this one is called twinkle all right an adorable name and a beautiful color this one i would describe as a periwinkle and i love periwinkles this is in that same range of a shade that i would say is that very peri color of the year for 2022 and it's definitely gonna go in my collection. I do have a few colors in this range in my collection that need to be swatched and reviewed, so I wanna do a comparison of these eventually, see which one I like the best, but this color is gorgeous. So that was Dew Nail Polish, Twinkle. All right, next one, we have another one from Dew Nail Polish, and this one is Glacier, and this is a beautiful larger shimmer particle topper. This one has flecks of pink that shift to gold and green. This is another type of polish that I collected a lot of early on, so I will have to do some comparisons, but again, this is a new to me brand, so I don't have this one in my collection yet, so we'll add it to at least swatch and see and do some comparisons. That was Dew Nail Polish, Glacier, Next up, we have another Live Love Polish. This one is called Aperture, and this is another black jelly base, this time loaded with hollow micro glitters. And this one, I think I also see like gold, so maybe gold holographic or just gold metallic. And I think I'm seeing teeny tiny little gold bar glitters. Yeah, right there, teeny, teeny, tiny little bar glitters. You see those? Teeny, teeny, tiny, how cute. So this one is thicker, it will need some help thinning it down, but look at all the sparkle. Very, very pretty. Now it is, it does have gold as a main component in there, at least in that hollow, and I have been getting rid of a lot of my black jelly polishes and just keeping the ones that really speak to me. So I think I will add this to the D stash. I will have to add a little bit of thinner to sort of help it out, but that was Live Love Polish Aperture. Next one, ooh, we have another fancy gloss and more bar glitter. This one is called Black Sparks. So she has quite a number of these polishes that have these uh, little teeny tiny hollow bar glitters in them. And this one is in a black jelly base. So I really like these bar glitters. These ones I want to say though are predominantly gold. Like I, there's the hollow on them of course, but I think the sparks are mainly in a gold finish. So again, I'm just not drawn to this. I think we have a theme here. <laughs> 
<laughs> with black hollows going in the D stash this time, but this one's going to go in the D stash as well. That was Fancy Gloss's Black Sparks. It is really pretty. I just don't see myself reaching for it. So that one's going in the D stash. All right, next up, we have another Lemming lacquer. This one is called Yasha. And the name of this doesn't sound familiar, so it's possible I don't have this. This is a dark gray full of flakies and you have a glass fleck shimmer particle and I want to say maybe some teeny tiny hollow flecks in there as well. This is a really beautiful combination and definitely one that I could see myself reaching for. I think there's a shimmer aspect that shifts to green around the edges. I don't know if that's going to come across. But this is really, really pretty. Definitely one that I could see myself reaching for. So that was Lemming Lacquer's Yasha going in the collection. Next one. Ooh, we have another Lemming Lacquer. This one is called Omega Strain. And this is a very dark green full of some flakies and a shimmer. The shimmer on this is kind of like a dark orange and shifts to gold. Look at the flakies though. Holy moly. These are a beautiful icy blue with shifts to purple and fuchsia. Wow. So I have been getting rid of quite a few of my very darkened greens, but the combination of those flakies is intriguing enough that I want to at least keep this to swatch and see. So we'll have to see how I like it. But that one was Lemming Lacquer's Omega Strain. All right, I've got a handful more. The next one is another dew polish. This one is called Blaze. Now this one is definitely outside my wheelhouse. This particular shade is a very vibrant, mm, like orange leaning red. So it's pretty outside what I would see myself using. I think we will go ahead and add this to the D stash. That was Dew Nail Polish Blaze. All right, next up we have another one from Live Love Polish. This one is called Optic, and this one is a dark charcoal full of like a silver glass look. This one is kind of interesting, but again, these types of polishes just have not been catching my attention lately. Even if I really enjoy them in the bottle, I just don't reach for them, so I think I will go ahead and put this one in the D-Stash as well. That was Live Love Polish Optic. All right, I think we got one more. Yeah, one more. So this was Lemming Lacquers, Apagando Las Luces. I could be totally butchering that, but <laughs> this one definitely does not sound familiar at all. And it's a purple. This is a really beautiful, I think, warm toned purple. You have at least a couple of different kinds of flakies in here. And I want to say there's also some shimmer. I'm seeing flashes of a blue every now and again. This one is definitely up my alley. Of course, it's a purple. You know, I gotta love it. But this particular shade and tone of purple is gorgeous. So like I said, the name doesn't sound familiar. I'm fairly certain I don't have it. So we're going to add uh, Apagando Las Luces to my collection. All right, so that wraps up my little mystery box of 24 nail polishes. Let me know down below which ones were your favorites and if you're familiar with Dew Nail Polish. Like I said, that is a new to me brand. I'm excited about a few of the ones that I got, especially this particular color because this one is a favorite, as is that really rich burgundy shade. This is beautiful. So as always, thank you so much for hanging out with me and looking at beautiful nail polish. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you're new, make sure to hit the little subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos and I will see you in that next one.